Takeover gang, it's your girl, Mike. Hey, it's your boy Daniel here. And we are back with another freaking video. Yes, but before we get into this video, make sure you stop what you're doing, like this video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. If you're new to our channel, we welcome y'all to the Takeover gang. We have new content sure. for you every Tuesday and every Thursday. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. We have some fire content for y'all. And as you can see, we have a pretty nice looking spread here for y'all Yo, today. We've been thinking about this all week. When I tell you, I've been thinking about this all month. So we're not even gonna delay this. Go ahead and give us a prayer. Go ahead and pray to our God. God. Mm -hmm. We just want to thank you, Lord thank God. You, Lord. Thank you for getting us through this week, yes. Lord God. Lord, we know that we couldn't get through it and make it without you, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Lord God, we just want to thank you for these crawfish, Lord yes, God. We've been, Lord. been sitting there mm -hmm. on our mind all mm -hmm. week, Lord mm -hmm. God, and we finally been able to get some, Lord God. So we just ask that these be a nourishment to our bodies, Lord God. Bless those people down there at the University of Seafood. Yes, that said they bought them for us. We had to wait for them, Lord God, mm -hmm. but ooh, we, we just know that they about to be good, Lord God. And just bless us and let us get through this video, Lord God. Touch our subscribers in a special way. Mm -hmm. And it's in your son Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Let's dig in. I was gonna say that that, that prayer was a little long when they say you yes. was hungry. <laughs> it's been a long week. Mm, 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 Y'all had to throw in our dinner. Mm mm. Mm mm. I was afraid of this nice. Oh my god. Mm mm. Mm. Baby, ain't nothing like some good old spicy Louisiana crawfish. Okay. I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I tell you, I've really been thinking about these crawfish for like a month. Oh, that was good. Mm. It really was, y'all. And it's been a week. This week has been. Ooh. I've had some good days, but this has yeah. been a long week. It ended. <clears throat> it ended nicely, but it was a long week. So, it be in my week. Had to get me some crawfish. No other way. Had to get me a little. Baby, uh, if you from down south, you know you can't have that crawfish without the daiquiri. Okay. I tell you, we had to give y'all the full Louisiana experience. So when it's Mardi Gras season, baby. Let me tell you something. It's New Orleans daiquiri for the win. We just got just we just got just a small, just a little taste, just to have our crawfish. We're not trying to get eaten it tonight. <laughs> Mm-hmm. He got a little kick. Well, they always have a little kick, too. but Friends hooked us. That was special kick. They let them crop in soak soap. Okay, baby. Friends hooked us up with this one because this got a little kick to it too. Now like I said I wasn't trying to get eaten tonight, but Fran might have me there. This is a um Sex on the beach mixed with uh, jungle, jungle juice. juice. We call it that sex in the jungle. Mm -hmm. You have a daiquiri shot, and then you try with an extra shot. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what you're missing, baby. Welcome to the jungle. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it right there. Okay. That's it, baby. Yeah. Um, and then, too, the crawfish came up fresh. Mm -hmm. I had to wait for one. The people in front of me. I don't mind waiting if they're going to be fresh. People in front of me order 40 pounds. I said, y'all might as well just tell them people to boil y'all the sack. Y'all could have got the sack and boiled them y'all too. Y'all must ain't know how to boil them. Hmm. Um, but then again, it is a Friday, you know. Okay. You've been working all day. Because look, if, if somebody's trying to have a coffee bar tonight, you know, baby, I bet look, we just buy them. Now, tomorrow, that's a different story. We could boil them tomorrow. Okay. How y'all been doing? Let us know in the comments how y'all been doing. Y'all had a long week too? I need some of this little crawfish juice for this thing. It's been a long, long week. Save it. Mm hmm. I don't finish the song, baby. I don't know where to go. Just write it. That's what I be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Not just write it. Just write it. Because I'll make up a song in a heartbeat. Do you hear me? Okay. And be two stepping right along huh. with it, like I said there and wrote it, okay? Okay, when you do sit there and write it. Right. Y'all, too, we just gonna apologize. We know our uploading has been off recently. Y'all, when I tell you, 
Things have been so crazy on mm -hmm. our end. Like, Cause I started a new job recently. And baby. That's the thing with doing YouTube. Like when you first starting out, mm -hmm. and you still working full time. It's just been an adjustment. But we appreciate y'all for rocking with us though. Mm -hmm. We got some solid, some solid people like early on in our YouTube journey. And really been rocking with us, and we appreciate y'all so much. And we appreciate all y'all, even those who watch the video and don't comment. We still love y'all. But y'all need to leave us comments so and we do. can know that y'all are here. So we can shout y'all out too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, but look, let me ask y'all a question. What's y'all's favorite auxiliary to the crawfish ball? If you don't know what auxiliary is, that's your corn, your potato, your egg. Or a seafood boil in general. Mm -hmm. If you if you don't have crawfish near you. What's your favorite? I think mine done became an egg. Mine an egg too. With some of that crawfish juice. Yo, I cannot do a boil without the egg no more. Mm-hmm. It's a must have, like for real, for real. Cause you know, we used to the potatoes and the corn. Sometimes we have a little sausage, you know, if we do a home ball. Mm-hmm. And you know who signed me onto the egg years ago? Mm -hmm. Uncle Lionel. Really? Mm-hmm. One day, one time, Daddy had a bowl for one of our birthdays or something, trying to eat the, one of them. And he put some eggs in there? He put some eggs in there. He had a little, he scoops on it, little crawfish juice. I put some in there. I was like, ooh. Hey, my, my, my blood pressure was high. <laughs> no, that sodium, but it was so good. Mm-hmm. And ever since I then, you did. He was probably in there dancing somewhere. <coughs> like, I used to like to dance. But y'all know, like, I really, like, eggs just started growing on me because, like, that's my taste buds besides potatoes. Mm -hmm. Like, I really like eggs. Like, I like eggs more than potatoes. Mm -hmm. Like, I like potatoes more than eggs. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite way to eat them is boiled, though. Mm -hmm. A nice warm boiled egg is so good. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of it. Thank you, Lord, baby. I, and I felt it too. I did. Mm. Child. Huh. If you know, I mean, if you know, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I hope y'all been doing good, though. Baby. Times are crazy. It's been crazy out here in these streets. It Especially down happen. here in Louisiana. You mm -hmm. got people just breaking in the cars. Right. Teachers getting arrested. Students getting arrested. Baby. You got... In, in Baton Rouge, somebody tried to break into the... um Phoebe's go into the BR... Uh, BRPD, Baton Rouge Police Department. I said, baby. Out of all places to break into, it's stupid. It was stupid. <laughs> you gonna break into the into the police department where they got guns, just waiting for you, and handcuffs, just waiting on you for time. Um, my people was there, huh? Yes. It was in broad daylight, if I recall. Not broad daylight. Broad daylight, mm -hmm. <laughs> like. <coughs> <coughs> Even if not, I think they still work 24-7 because it's the police. So, like, what were you going? What were you thinking? Yeah. But he looked like something out of Squid Game. So, he may not have been there. I don't look like something out of Squid Game. He did. Yeah, the type of stuff that happened out here, I just be like, baby, what you going through to be that stupid? Like, my thing is, I'm not a criminal, right? I'm not a criminal. I can say that. But if I was a criminal, I would be a smart criminal. I would. I would think all of my schemes through. I would have a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, and a plan D. I'd be one of the people, I'd be so good at it. Yeah, I wouldn't even know I was involved. I would still have my nine to five. And then I would have other people doing the stuff for me and just be benefiting from it. Y'all would never know. 
What? until you had it in Louisiana. I'm sorry. We have the best. Mm, really not. Like, all of, like, the butter sauces and stuff is cool. I mean, it's, I like it with, like, my crab legs and stuff like that, but when it comes down to my crawfish, I need that seasoning to be socked up in there. Baby, good crawfish don't need the butter sauce. You mm -hmm. heard me. The crawfish don't need, you don't need to dip it. Well, I like Cause some, down here they do have like a crawfish sauce that they dip the tail. I don't in. need that. I don't need that either. But it's not bad. And your crawfish season but, right? You know what's doing? Cause I don't yeah, need that. Yeah, your crawfish season right, baby. You gonna know? Cause all your nose gonna be running, baby. Mm -hmm. If you have a sinus, I'm gonna get you some crawfish. A sinus what? A sinus drill for a stop nose. Mm -hmm. This is nature's own medicine, okay? Mm-hmm. Maybe you don't even need to go to the doctor for them to write you a prescription. Yeah, just, just like. Mm -hmm. Show the show the new people that that, that that ain't that ain't been here long how to eat a crawfish. Hold on, let me let me get, mm -hmm. let, me, let me get another one. Mm -hmm. So I can yeah. give y'all a tutorial. A tutorial. But look. You take your crawfish to look like this. Just a little small, we're gonna work with it, okay? Stay with me. Mm -hmm. You take, then I would take and I work on them claws, but see this one is just, it's just, we're gonna cross them because they're just, mm -hmm. just, believe, just best believe every bit of that crawfish is gonna get out. Then you take this, but here you go. Mm -hmm. Remember this flavor. You gotta suck that juice out of that flavor. Now you see this, this is your tail piece. And all you gotta do is just take this little first little, uh, this little first little ring, this first little knot, peel that off, and then you take this tail here. And on this back piece, you just pinch it, baby. You just pinch it, and it, it just releases. It releases what's that? That blessing. You see that tail, me? That's it, there. Mm -hmm. It just releases. The blessing from the Lord. And you just eat it. That's it. Sometimes if the tail stick out far enough, you don't even got to peel that top piece. You can just that is on true. It. You could just and pinch it. And do that there. And keep on going. You know what I'm saying? Keep on going. But y'all, I mean, I don't want. Baby. I'm so ready for Mardi Gras. Mm-hmm. We're cool to We still in the beginning, kind of sort of the beginning of crawfish season, mm -hmm. so they're a little small. But the flavor is there, and that's mm -hmm. what matters. That's all that matters to me, baby. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Whew. You know, you know, you know, when I think about the goodness of Jesus, um, and all he has done for me. And these crawfish. Come on. Mmm, that was it. It was mm -hmm. a flick of the wrist for me. Mm -hmm. It was a flick of the wrist. Y'all, you just gotta, if you don't got no juice, you can dip it in, just take the head and you just, you just squeeze it. Just eat right mm -hmm. there. That egg was good. Mm -hmm. It make the yolk like creamy. 
if that make any sense. If y'all ever in the Baton Rouge area, baby, try University of Seafood. Okay. It's, it's right there by LSU. It's on Highland Road. And look, I'm gonna give you one. It is. It's in an interesting part of the ghetto. Okay. She said it. Yeah, but that's how you know food on you. You are not incorrect. You're not incorrect. And I tell you, they always do me right. Always do me right. In all my years, I've never had a bad batch of crawfish from them. Mm -mm. And even if it's like if it's fresh or if it's it's been sitting there for a while. And one thing about them, they constantly dropping. Right, because they have so much business. Uh -huh. Like, we went there, I think we got there maybe 45 minutes before they closed. And I had to wait about 15, 20 minutes with the crawfish were just coming up and they were closing soon. Generally, most places, they stop dropping. And they be, they be giving you, or they either like overdrop the last couple hours and be giving you the little, the remnant. Because I don't want the remnant. Why would I settle for the remnant when God has something better for me? Okay. Hey, that, mm, mm, that was a bird. Huh. We talk about that overflow all the time, too. Exactly. Look, some of y'all out there settling for less. And content with it. Exactly. Why would you settle mm -hmm. when you have access to so much more? Let's talk about mm -hmm. that. Okay? Okay. Yeah. But look, I want everything that's meant for me. Everything. Mm -hmm. Roots job, whether it's a car, whether it's a financial blessing, whether it's a job, whatever it is. Mm. And happy Black History Month, y'all. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was looking at that one. I know you was. I had to grab it before you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see what I got to deal with. It's the ghetto. <laughs> it's the ghetto for me. You know that Black History, um... Collection in Target. I don't know if y'all y'all been to Target yet, right but they have the um. I actually tried to go in Target to get me some, but I should have went at the at the top of Black History Month when they had it. But um, I think I looked out. I might have to go to another Target, but the collection that they have in there, I think it's like yeah. Noir or something. Anyway. The girls who designed it are from Louisiana. Oh, wow. They're from Shreveport, if I'm not mistaken. So that's North Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And I just thought that that was so dope that their stuff is in Target nationwide. That is awesome. Yeah, one of the substitutes um, in my job was telling me about it today. I didn't even know. I gotta give Target that credit. Target. Target be on it. They do. They do. Because even I noticed when I was doing some online shopping, I'd be paying attention to stuff. And Target was one of the few companies that had diversity amongst their models. Mm. So um, we were shopping for um, matching PJs for Christmas. Uh -huh. and oh, yeah. And when I was looking at the pictures, you saw like black families, white families. Very progressive. Right. Too. You saw, you know, families with two female parents, two male parents, you know, versus some other places that I, I, I won't name and call them out, but it was very, um, right. Put on that son of a gun. <laughs> that's, no, what, that's what that's what Look at that A word on that I'm not gonna lie, this one is well endowed as well. But they were but um the Oh, oh. Yeah, I've been oh, like <laughs> These are on for me. Oh, but, yeah. but yeah, like I was saying, some other places that I won't I won't call them out, but their um their models and their you know their representation of family was very heteronormative and it was very um anglophone. I'll say that it was very anglophone. What does that mean? It was it was it was heavily influenced by the Caucasian. Oh okay. 
I'll be having to clarify with Ben because he be using some words I ain't never heard of before. <laughs> okay, that go out light again. We just gonna have to deal with it. Um, yeah, I remember the y'all gonna have to excuse me. <laughs> Cause my nose. One thing about Dan, he gonna blow his nose. Two, okay. Y'all, this is truly blessing me. Her over here. <laughs> Fran hooked us up. Fran did. Fran hooked us up, and I'm like, does that taste like the one from the Yes and no. It tastes slightly different. But also, mm. I'm gonna say wow. Mm -hmm. I ain't said that in a long time. <laughs> so. Y'all, it's just something about, it's something about crawfish that like, I swear, Louisiana work on my goddamn nerves. But I've stayed in Louisiana thus far, honestly, just for the seafood. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, if I was to move somewhere else, like, I would truly miss the seafood. I will say though, there, when I lived in Texas, I lived in Houston, for a little bit. And there was this one place. No, it was, I discovered two places that had crawfish boiled like how we have them at home. Mm -hmm. I, no, I lied, it was three places. And they were good, but it's still, like, I got my fix while I was out there, mm -hmm. but, like, I still missed, like, crawfish right. from home. But, like, the people that bought them out there, like, they were from Louisiana, so. Mm -hmm. And then they had this one place, though, that was up the road from my, my apartment. Up the road? Yeah. And they would do um, what they call, like, a um, New Orleans spicy. Yeah, it was too spicy though. I'm talking about oh, all my lips was tingling. <laughs> Shout out all your lips. Mm -hmm. They had peppers in there, like, but it was it was a different like sp spice level. Like the mm -hmm. spice was definitely like present, present. It was a different like spice level as far as like Louisiana spice, but like it was still good though. Like I. Mm -hmm. I had it and then I was like, I gotta get some more of this because it's, it's different, but it's good. Like it wasn't all of that. Like I can't do the, the crawfish with the garlic and the butter and all that stuff on the outside and no flavor in the inside. Like, uh -uh. I mean, I will say when I went to DC at that time, we went to the seafood restaurant and um, I was skeptical. I didn't order crawfish, but somebody else did. Mm -hmm. And it was the type of crawfish where they put the sauce on it afterwards mm -hmm. and it come in a bag and they mix it up in the bag. And I tasted one or two of um, an associate of mine's crawfish and they were actually quite good. It wasn't the same as like, you know, Louisiana crawfish where you, you, it's, it, it's the boil. It was mm -hmm. the sauce and afterwards, it was quite good. So I know there are places that you can go and get it. It's just, it's different. Like It's different when you've grown Right. Up eating it a certain way. Right. And you go and you look at someone you're like, oh, they have crawfish. Well, let me get some. And it's like, no, that ain't it. Right. <laughs> exactly. And that's it's not that thing. it's nasty, but it's just not the same. Like it's it's not it's not home. Mm -hmm. Right. Although thing. I have had some nasty crawfish that were they put the season on the outside. I don't know, that's just one thing that's so unique about Louisiana. Like, the food here is just so... Yeah. I don't know, it's just so... I don't know the word to describe it. It's very cultured. Right. Like, we have a... we have a Like, that's one thing I can say that I love about Louisiana and being from here is, like, our culture is so, like, dope. And there's so much talent out here. It's just baby. Oh wow, me like that claws. Look at those. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. That's that's yeah, that's that's one of the things that I do appreciate about being from Louisiana and 
being out here, but some things, you know, they do need to be a little more exactly. progressive. More. Oh, a lot of things. Child, we're not, we're not, that's a whole nother conversation. Because, child, we so behind in other areas. <laughs> but those of you who are not um, from Louisiana, who, who have not been to Louisiana, who have not tried our cuisine, y'all need to get out here. Priscilla, girl, I think you have north somewhere, baby. You need to take a trip to the city, baby. baby you need come, to come on down to the come, And we can water. collaborate. Yeah. I'm calling you out by name. Priscilla. Priscilla become a good, she's become a good little, that's family. Mm -hmm. That's family. You need to come to New Orleans, you need to try crawfish. You need to get you down here. So. Yeah, we could collab. Exactly. We could, if you come, we we can get, you know, a few pounds of crawfish, yeah. do a crawfish mukbang. Exactly. As long as you can have the spice there, if you can't have the spice there. You know, might, might make you a little cocktail, cause you know, brother over here, the bartender and I'm, in a, in a past life, in a past I'm, life. I'm somewhat of a bartender. This she, at she, home. She's an apprentice. Yeah, baby. I ain't got no bar <laughs> license or nothing, but I can make you a good drink. I think mine getting ready to expire, but that's okay. I got a different certification that's pending. Ha! Mm -hmm. Money elevates your status. Mm. When y'all look, baby, when we get to the end of this crawfish, then my ex even talked to our heads off, though, but. Child. <laughs> Cause once we dance, for me and Dan get hit, sit here and get to talking all day. Okay, uh, and all night long. Do y'all like when we talk to y'all? Mm, I, I love it. Y'all do. I love it. But y'all, we gonna finish these crawfish. We are gonna go ahead and log off. We thank y'all for watching this video. As always, we truly appreciate y'all. We truly love y'all. We are so happy that y'all decided to join the Takeover Gang. If you're watching this video, and you made it this far, you haven't subscribed. You might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, like this video, <laughs> give us a comment down below. Let us know if you've tried Louisiana crawfish, what you like about them, your favorite spots. Maybe we can try them, yep. and we'll get back to y'all on that. But besides that, we'll see y'all in the next video. We love y'all, and we'll we see you soon. Peace. Bye.